Hey guys, Eri is here and welcome along to another video. Now, this is something a little bit different, both on the screen and behind me here. We're on iRacing for an iRacing video. Now, this is in response to people saying we want more iRacing content, more than just the stream on a Tuesday night, which we've started back up recently. So, I've decided I'm gonna do this, the Porsche iRacing Cup. However, it's a bit of a baptism of fire, to be quite honest with you, this first one. We have got this car, which is a bit of a nightmare to drive at the best of times anyway. It's on the new tyre model, which is notoriously difficult, any eye racer will tell you. Basically, until the tyres warm up, you've got no grip at all. So, it's going to be an issue, especially around a track like this, the Nordschleife. So yeah, that's what we've got. And as I say, the main reason I'm doing it is to give you guys more content, but also I need to get my act together because I destroyed my I rating and my safety rating during week 13. Now I thought that during week 13, everything was kind of free. Whatever you did didn't matter. You could ram it into a wall. You could crash into other cars. It wouldn't affect anything. Well, let me tell you, that is not the case. And as that is not the case. Both of them have taken an absolute dive. So I'm back here. The best I can hope for is just a clean finish so we can get on the road again to start getting some decent eye racing. We were at about 16, 1700. We're now just about 11 or 1200 ish. So, as I say, the goal for this one is just to get to the end cleanly and not smash it into any of these barriers that are about that far away from the edge of the track. So let's see how we get on. Right, so here we go then. Apparently there is no such thing as um, qualification in this race. So we're going straight from warm up into the race. We've got three laps here at the Nordschleife. I'm in position five by the looks. So I'm not quite sure how that's there but yeah the aim is to just make sure I get to the end because if quality is anything to go by or warm up should I say it's going to be absolutely chaotic right so standing start everyone's just joining us on the grid here this is going to be completely unscripted so we're going to see how we get on we're going to aim for about 7,000 revs green flag, green flag. oh a little bit of wheel spin but now we're off Close, middle, watch me. Car on your left, two wide. Clear Down on the to left. first here. Got about five laps of fuel. Car on your left, clear on the left. Oh, left side, it's... go right, clear. Got wheel I've got wheel damage right already. Side. Still there, hold your line. Still there, There's a guy there. Looks like I've got the meatball. Go. You'll need a tow back to pick mine. Press and hold the reset button and we'll come and get you. Clear oh. on the right. Oh. Is it really, is that really how it's going to go? I suppose I get DQ'd if I don't do that, do I? Oh, so I'll just pull over. <laughs> wow, what an absolute nightmare. Still going off behind us. Let's see what happened with us here. Oh. Right, so we got the start. So you can see it's towing, it's a 15 minute tow. Oh, well this will be the end of this one I can assure you let's have a look at what happened then right so here we are then on the start all good all happy no issues at all a lot of wheel spin off the start once and then again but we're off we're okay we're in the middle. For some reason it hasn't shown up our uh, paint, which is weird. This guy's going to go in real deep here. Uh, and then he's just going to get on the power too much. Nothing I can do. And then bang. And then all done. Car's going all over the place. Car's spinning there. But unfortunately, 
as the spotter said, my car is toast. Oh, absolute nightmare. Told you this was the most dangerous combination on our race, in my opinion. It just doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> wow. What happened to the other guy? So he drives a team up ahead over there, there's issues. Absolute blimmin' disaster. But we're going to stay in. I know we're towing, but we're going to stay in and see what we can salvage from this race. And remember guys, I show you absolutely everything on this channel, so we're just going to see what we can get out of it. And what happened to this guy? So I guess he just binned it in the second phase. He's going to light up his tyres once, lights them up again. Oh. So there's going to be plenty of people in the pits, you know. Plenty of people that need towing. So what I'll do guys is I'm going to fast forward this to when we're back in the game in 8 minutes and 55 seconds time so you'd have to sit here and watch this and we'll see how the second phase of the race goes. Hello viewers, Super GT here. 5 minutes left, 4 minutes left. Two minutes left now. Oh, Dave Cam's actually just done a video on this. Right, one minute left. Time to put this bad boy down. Let's hope. Hopefully there's quick repairs on. Hopefully we haven't waited for 10 minutes just to have, or just to be told that it's another 10 minutes. That would be devastating. Right, come on. Come on. Quick repair. <laughs> so then we've got 11 minutes of required repairs. So, can I go? No, it's not going to let me. Uh, so, that's the end of that one guys. A really great way to start my iRacing video career. But as always, I show you exactly how things go. Um, there's at least one, two, three, four, five guys who are in the same. But yeah, I think we'll move on to week two. And I think a lesson's been learned. We won't be doing this one ever again. But unfortunately, guys, that is going to be the end of that one. I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.